Hey guys, how's it going? I'd just like to do a uh, little video on some of the 2011 Planet Clips Overload Soft Goods. I'm um, going to start with the pants. So these are the 2011 pants. They only came in this one color this year and this is the large size. Um, overall, they're, they're a fantastic pant. I have owned um, a couple different types and Previous ones to this were the Vulcan Redemption, and these surpassed the Vulcan ones so much. Um, one of my favorite features about these pants is the back here. So from here to here is a stretchy material, so that when you're bending on the paintball field, because that's what half a paintball is, is squatting and crouching and stuff, this bends with you so that you're not restricted in any way. Um, Another thing is the knees here, they're not too thick, but they're just thick enough to create bounces and uh, act as your basic knee pad. I haven't had any tears in them, no, nope, there's no tears, nothing, and I've used these, well, every weekend since May basically. Um, these pants also have padding in the hips, so right about here, there's a foam padding that's in here that is actually removable. Um, you have to remove it from the inside. I wouldn't see why you'd want to, but you can remove it. It's on both legs. And there's the padding in the crotch, which is always extremely helpful. Um, these pants have open pockets. So the pockets on the side here are open, as opposed to the redemption pants that I used they were velcroed. Um, I prefer the open pockets because then I can put a microfiber in there, I can put my barrel sock, whatever I want, and I don't have to worry about trying to fumble around with a zipper when I've got gloves on, which isn't the easiest. And inside they've got uh, retention straps that you can hook up your squeegee or whatever you want to it. Um, there's two squeegee pockets on it, one right here, and one right here and it also has these pod pockets on it right here and right here um, it's a good idea but only if you're really playing scenario or you're a back player that's going to be using those two pods right off the hop um, I took a small dive with it with one pod in and I guess maybe just the way I dived, it snapped the pot in half, broke all the paint on me, and it was a huge mess. Um, not sure if it was just the way because I dived, or if it's just the way the pants are designed. Anyways, I think it's pretty useless. If you're carrying a pod pack, why do you need two extra pods on your legs? Um, these pants have an ID pouch on the back of the left leg. Um, I haven't used mine yet. I guess some scenario games could give you a ID badge. Um, normally I've just hung mine around my neck and I can't say for bigger tournaments because I've never played one but uh, for my local speedball tournaments I've never had an ID badge. Um, it has adjustable ankles which is nice so it's got the strap here you just pull on it and it adjusts the ankles and uh, you can see this light gray area here is all ventilation. Now these pants are extremely cool. Um, when I was in Indiana this summer playing a game, it got up to 114 degrees once with the Humidex. Now for me as a Canadian, that is crazy hot. I was boiling. But these pants really help to keep me cool. If I was using my Vulcan pants, I would have been roasting, I would have ended up on the field in shorts. But these pants are just absolutely amazing in the ventilation. One thing that I don't like about it is the straps here. I don't know if you can see, but this is only as far as the belt straps go. Now my Vulcan pants, the Velcro went all the way around and you could adjust it basically so it was a one size fit all pant. 
Um, these are large and I find they actually fit a little bit too big for me. I wear about a 30 or a 32 waist and I found that these pants are too big. So if you're about the same waist size as me, you might want to go for the medium because unless you're wearing your pod pack right over your pants, your pants are going to be falling down because these straps just don't adjust enough and they're extremely difficult to adjust as well. Um, next thing I'd like to do is the 2011 elbow pads. So these are them here. Um, again, this whole inner area is all mesh. It's a, almost like an Under Armour material. It's uh, moisture wicking and it is really cool. It uh, just breathes well. Um, it's got the nice thumb hole here. So this goes right around. If you don't like wearing gloves, it's a great uh, elbow pad. And they're extremely flexible. So I'll put it on here. So there's no, it's not holding me back at all. I can bend my arm as much as I want. And uh, I found that these, um, when I first got them, these are the large size. When I first got them, they fit a little tight, but after I used them, I noticed they actually stretched out quite a bit. Overall, an extremely good pad. Um, I've also tried the Vulcan ones, and they just don't breathe as well or as, are as flexible as these Planet Eclipse ones. You can see here, it's got the padding on it. Um, it's not too thick, but it's thick enough that it will promote bounces, and if you put your elbow down on something sharp on the ground, if you're playing scenario like I usually do, you're going to be okay. It's not going to go right through. And also you can see here, it's ventilation, keep your arm still cool. And the last piece of the soft goods I'd like to show is the uh, 2011 Overload knee pads. Um, overall, really good pad, I really like them. Um, I had never used a knee pad before besides military simulation ones, so that really hard plastic that doesn't bend, the Velcro rips, just really cheap pieces of junk. So when I put these on, it was a whole new world for me. Um, the back is open here, so that it's easy bending when it's on your knee. You can see it just bends freely. And um, the material, it's hard to see here, but the material at the back here actually is breathable too. The only thing I don't like about these knee pads is that the Velcro is too long. So when I try to adjust it, I have that much hanging off or so where it'll catch on the inside mesh of my pants. And that really bugs me because you're trying to get your pants off at the end of the day and your knee pads are getting stuck. Um, so I found that these, or these pads fit a little bit bigger than I thought they would. But otherwise, absolutely great knee pad. For anything Planet Eclipse, if you'd like to order anything, go to sbpgear.com, that's Sobe Paintball, and uh, send them a message, put in an order, they can special order for you, they're absolutely great guys down there. Thanks for watching.